Good morning. Please all kneel for our daily morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, I offer you my day, I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit who guided Jesus be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love with Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church. I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray that we all will make courageous choices for a simple and environmentally sustainable lifestyle, rejoicing in our young people who are resolutely committed to this. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Horatio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Luis, San Pedro Calumso. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust with you. Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Friday, the 24th week in ordinary time. It is also the memorial of St. Robert Bellarmine. And also we celebrate this Mass in honor of our most sacred heart of Jesus.
Good morning, my sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. Welcome for those who are online and welcome for those who are here. No, this is the second day of our no, online, uh, I mean, not only online, but live. No, it's good to see people and not just pews. We honor our saint today, St. Robert Bellarmine, a Jesuit. We will hear in the first reading, love for money, love for money, the root of all evil. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pause for a few moments. We recall to mind our sins and experience the love and mercy of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we rejoice in the gift of love we have received from the heart of your Son. Open our hearts to share his life and continue to bless us with this love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, teach and urge these things Whoever teaches something different and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the religious teaching is conceited, understanding nothing, and has a morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From this come envy, rivalry, insults, evil suspicions, and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth. Supposing religion to be a means of gain, indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires, which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils. And some people, in their desire for it, have strayed from the faith and have fierced themselves with many pains. But you, men of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life, to which you were called when you made a noble confession in the presence of men of witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days? When my wicked snarers bring me round, they trust in their wealth. The abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, 
when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod, steward Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, a pleasant good morning, my sisters and brothers. We hear today Jesus pointing companions. He is God, kaya naman niya eh. Hindi naman tayo kailangan na may kasama. But to share, not only to train us, but to share and to give us opportunity to show our love for Him, He chose the 12 apostles, the disciples, and then some women. The women were named, the three women were named. Many of them, uh, we know how important women are. The bias. Up to now, in the Middle East, there are some parts of the Middle East that you cannot show your independence. Dapat nakatakip, no? We know in Afghanistan, pag hindi ka nakatakip, bupuhusan ka ng asido sa mukha. Imagine, no? Because you're not supposed to be educated. You're not supposed to be shown. Nakatago ka lang. Imagine, imagine. There are some parts of the world that the inequality is, no, langit at lupa ang babae at lalaki. Sa atin, there are still inequality, but not as much. But we pray, no, we pray for equality, not just between men and women, but sana sa lahat. No? Our prejudice, whatever race, whatever color, whatever educational background, whatever age, we are all brothers and sisters. We were created by God equal. No? And Jesus treats the same equal. Equal lahat, equal lahat. No? But, but the culture is different. No? And it is a patriarchal world. No? Still, still. So we pray, we pray for this. But we see how Jesus treated women, how important women are. And we, are, we focus on the women. We are grateful for the contribution of women. We have, for example, uh, the Mother Butler's Guild. Dalawa yun, MBG, may Mother Butler's Mission Guild. Dalawa, no? They are on the side. They will never sh you will never see them. You will only see them, sila naglalaban nito, sila nag-aayos nito, always in the background. 
you will never see them in the foreground. Kaya quiet lang. No? Quiet lang sila. Naglalaba, naglilinis, nagpaplansya. They will do everything very, very quietly. No, no fanfare. You will not acknowledge them. Lagging on the background. But, very, very important role. Very important role. No? Kaya nakakatuwa. Eh, no? Silent workers, silent volunteers will not need repayment, will not need to be acknowledged. Uh, kaya salamat. Na, nagpadala si Bishop Pabilyo ng isang text kahapon na isang kwento tungkol sa taxi driver. Baalis lang tayo ng konti. No? Nung nalaman ng taxi driver, nurse yung kanyang pasahero, sabi niya, uh, nung magbabayad na, sabi niya, no, wala akong bayad, wala akong bayad. Yun ang tulong ko sa mga frontliners. Sabi niya, anong pangalan mo? Sabi niya, wala, walang pangapangalan. Gusto ko lang tulungan para ipakita ang support ako sa mga frontliners who offer their lives. No? We do not need to broadcast to the world yung ating ginagawa. No? Kaya sa mga tao, kanya-kanya, no? kanya-kanyang pamamaraan para tumulong silently. And those who do silently, God will repay you. Pero pag pinangaralan ka na, bayad ka na. <laughs> we are doing it for show. We are doing it to be repaid. We are doing it to, to be, no, not for show, no, quietly. So we thank the women, countless women, who on the side, no, who on the side. Alam naman natin gano karami ang women, women organizations, women, women groups in the parish. Ilan lang ang lalaki? Ilan lang, mamibilang mo lang yung lalaki. Puros babae, anong sumusuporta sa totoo lang ng simbahan? Napakarami, no? Napakarami. And all silent workers, not to be acknowledged. And we thank God for this. We thank God for their support. We thank God for their silent, faithful works, no? Their contribution. And Jesus acknowledged this. And we thank God for this. We thank God who support the church. Uh, salamat sa Diyos, even in pandemic, zero, zero, walang tao eh. But people have been very, very generous. Salamat sa inyong tulong, salamat. Ang mga seminarista, ang maraming sumusuporta eh. Kasi hindi naman nagbabayad ng tuition fee ang mga seminarista eh. Sa tulong ng mga sponsors, sa mga benefactors. So sa lahat, maraming mga benefactors, sa mga sponsors, salamat sa Diyos. God knows, God knows, no? There is no need of acknowledgement, really, because God knows. And the good Lord loves a chill forgiver. No? Uh, we generously share, no? share. Generously share. So, maraming maraming salamat sa Dios. No? Um, we will talk about uh, Saint Robert Barron if there is time before the mass ends later. Our saint today. We now all kneel as we have our perpetual novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open unto you. Behold us kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, we come to ask this favor. To whom can we turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should we seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must we knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? We have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you we find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, we firmly believe that you can grant us the grace we implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and our prayers will be granted. We admit that we are most unworthy of our favors, but this is not a reason for us to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy. 
and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon us a look of mercy, we beg of you, and your kind heart will find in our miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting our prayers. O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to our request, we will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. Lord Jesus, be pleased to accept this, our act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which we sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by us and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon us, we beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant us the grace for which we humbly implore you. Through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted us to her as your children, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this bread and this wine to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. We pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice in yours be made acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you in an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our beauty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, for lifted high on the cross, Christ gave his life for us. So much did he love us, from his wounded side flowed blood and water, the fountain of sacramental life in the church. To his open heart, the Savior invites all to draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. With the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, to Gabriel Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and of all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and your saints, Robert, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be married to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, we pray to our loving Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace and unity according to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the God of love, who heals and forgives. Humbled and blessed are we who are called to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ, Amen. Act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs>
Let us pray. We have received your sacrament of love by becoming more like Christ on earth and maybe sharing his glory in heaven where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maybe be seated for two minutes. We have three minutes, but I can only use two minutes. We thank God for this opportunity to um, honor our saint today, Saint Robert Bellarmine. St. Robert de Bellarmine is a Jesuit. He was so holy, so detached from material possession. He was such a great scholar. He was um, a Jesuit. He was already a contender for uh, being Pope. Sa sobrang galing niya, sa sobrang galing, sa napakabanal, so was very holistic. Kung nagkataon, siya yung first Jesuit Pope, hindi si St. Francis, si St. Francis, si Pope Francis natin ngayon. He's the first Jesuit. But he has a very big contribution to the church. He is, uh, um, as a matter of fact, because of that, he was named Doctor of the Church. No? You may read about it. No, and dami dami niyang contribution, dami dami niyang sinulot, and dami dami niyang tulong sa simbahan. So we thank God for uh, Saint Robert Bellarmine. We thank God for the Jesuits. No? Salamat sa Dios. Um, our schedule. Please check the Facebook page of the shrine. We will have seven masses, no? similar to the past. The regular schedule, we have seven Masses on Sunday. Uh, please check, you know, and we are very grateful and joyful for having you back. You know? Salamat sa Diyos. Sana we continue this. Sana we do our own share, praying for one another. Uh, be very, very careful. Please be very, very careful. Uh, so that does not make our, our guard less. Let us be more vigilant. Let us take care of one another. You know? Let us have a bubble and be very, very conscious of one another. Maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go with the love and mercy of our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.